going to show you my favorite type of infused water. I'm actually generally not a fan of infused waters because I like my water plain, but adding a little bit of cucumber and mint makes it so refreshing for spa night. And mint is also anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and it's loaded with antioxidants. And cucumber also has vitamin C and vitamin K, which is really good for your skin and your overall health. So I just pop that in the fridge and get the rest of my spa night going. So the first thing you do for a spa night, of course, is light some candles. One of them is a linen scent and the other one is sugar spun. These are both from Target, but the combination of both of these together and the bathroom smells so incredibly amazing. I don't even know how to describe it. You just have to try it for yourself. And then I have this little wooden tray that I like to place all of my little extras on. I generally like to watch Netflix or videos while I'm taking a bubble bath, but I've been really into this book, so I chose that as my form of entertainment. The night before, I froze some grapes, and those make a really good snack when you're in the tub. And like I told you guys before, when I take a bubble bath, I go all out. So I like to add a bath bomb. I like bubbles, the whole nine yards. And this bath bomb is from Lush, if you remember my Lush haul. But today I'm going to show you how you can make your very own bath bomb at home. It's super easy. So all you're gonna need is half a cup of baking soda, a fourth of a cup of cornstarch, a fourth of a cup of Epsom salt, and I like to use a scented one. This is coconut lime, but you're welcome to use plain and a fourth of a cup of citric acid. I couldn't find any plain citric acid, so I found this product that contains citric acid in the section where the mason jars are. And then you just wanna whisk everything together, and now we're gonna move on to the liquid side. So the first thing you're gonna need is two teaspoons of castor oil. This is really good for softening the skin. It's also anti-inflammatory. One teaspoon of coconut oil. This is mostly for the scent and also for moisturizing. One teaspoon of essential oil of your choice. I chose lavender because I think it's very soothing. And one tablespoon of water. The water is gonna be what's gonna help make this mixture into uh, a very moldable mixture. So feel free to add a little bit more if you feel like it needs more. And then you're gonna slowly whisk the mixture into the dry mixture. I just used my hand to mix this bar because I found it's way easier and then separate it into three different bowls because we're going to be making three different colors. So I used this neon set of food coloring found in the food section and I just added one drop at a time until I got the color that I wanted for each bowl and I have pink, lavender, and this blue color and then I start packing my mold. You basically need any mold that's around. You can find this in the baking section. You can use an old Christmas or Ornament, anything that you have. I actually found these little like avocado things in the grocery store section and they work perfectly. So I just packed one side pink and one side blue and then I added a little bit of lavender in between. Once the molds are completely full, you wanna press them together and just make sure you have it nice and snug cause you wanna compress all of that powder together. So then I put it in the freezer for an hour, took it out and just lightly tapped it with a spoon so that the mixture would detach from the mold and this is what I was left with. It's absolutely gorgeous, it smells delicious. I filled up the tub halfway just so that I could show you what the bath bomb looked like once I dropped it in. So as you can see, it did fizz a little bit and it started turning the water this beautiful rainbow color. And I think it would have fizzed a little bit more had I used pure citric acid. So that's just a little tip for you guys. If you can find it, I would definitely do that. For my bubbles, I used the Comforter Bubble Bar from Lush, which you guys know is my favorite. I cut it up into a fourth and I just put it underneath the water. I've tried so many different ways of getting the most bubbles and this has been my favorite so far. I like to do a mask while I'm in the bubble bath and today I'm just trying one of the new Sephora ones. Honestly, I just randomly pick one. I only buy ones that I know that are good for my skin type, which I have dry skin. By the way, those frozen grapes are also really awesome for keeping your drinks nice and cool. 
Once I'm done with my face mask, I like to use a body scrub and exfoliate myself from head to toe. And I'm also going to be showing you how I make this super luxurious body scrub. All you're gonna need is some coconut oil. I use about three tablespoons, but this is really just for preference. And about one tablespoon of castor oil. And then I like to add a couple of capfuls of vanilla extract. This is mainly for scent and some organic dark brown sugar. I love using brown sugar because the granules feel so good up against your skin. And the last ingredient is extra virgin olive oil. This is what's going to give your skin that super luxurious feeling once you rinse everything off. And I just mix it all together and your scrub is good to go. So then I just exfoliate my hands, my arms, my legs, basically my entire body. After a bath, I like to take a quick shower and also wash my hair. And then I go in and start exfoliating my face. I use something completely different. I've been loving this face exfoliator. And I also love this exfoliator for the lips. And then I just rinse it all off and do my normal skincare routine, which I didn't show on here because I take on my skincare very seriously and it's a whole video in and of itself. So comment down below if you want to see a video on that. And then I take coconut oil and rub it all over my body and my hair. This is something that I only do on pamper nights because it is way too greasy to do every night. But the next morning your skin wakes up feeling so supple and your hair is so shiny. It's pamper night, so there are no rules. You can lounge around, watch TV, watch Netflix. Right now, I am loving Entourage. I recently got back into it, and I am kind of obsessed with it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and give it a double thumbs up if you are enjoying Lifestyle Sunday videos so far. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>